Magic spells, robots that'll help you do anything, and maybe some of the most powerful tools of all time. So recently, Minecraft Bedrock had got some brand new add-ons. Just like we did in this video that I had a lot of fun making and you guys seem to love, we're gonna check out every single one of them today with the big question of, well, is it worth it? From first a look at this magic spells add-on, I can't help but think of one thing and one thing only, and that is Skyrim. Apparently, for the price of $6 US, we could turn Minecraft into Skyrim. And so it begins, a familiar feeling sets in. As soon as we enter the world, we get a very cool looking book. And inside of this book, kind of as we would expect, there's a little bit of a guide to this add-on. Now you know me, I like myself a good set of customization. I think that's why I love armor trim so much. Inside of this add-on, when it comes to customization and your new aesthetic, we've got some drippy drip. So this is so cool, check this out. We've got brand new armor and the armor, even though it's like magic robes or whatever, it actually does grant a little bit of armor. What in the world is that at though? Like, oh man, that's the biggest hat I've ever seen, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 the hat is so big, it doesn't even fit in the box. Alrighty then. Now the spells, of course there's a way to get them in survival Minecraft, but even more better, there's a way to get them in creative Minecraft too. So these spells, as I scroll through them on my bar, you can kind of see, like, right above the name of the spell, a little bit awkwardly, we've got a new bar basically called Mana. If I go ahead and use the spell, a little bit of that stuff is consumed. Now, from my experience, a lot of these spells, they have a little bit of range to them, but really, it kind of stops there. It's only, like, a little bit of range. Wither Skulls, maybe the most intriguing one, is essentially a homing missile. Now, when we use some of these spells, more information pops up at the bottom. For example, cooldown and charge. So each spell is going to be a little bit different, and it'll have different things. Like the Wither Skull one, I can go ahead and charge it up for maximum damage. Uh. Out of the spells that I've checked, this is probably my favorite one. It summons in an Emerald Golem Bodyguard. Kind of OP. In a true survival setting to get into all of this magic dealing and everything like that, you're going to wander through the forest and look for these things called wisps. It almost looks like a little alley or something. We're going to walk up to the wisp and attack it, basically, until we get this cool little item called mana moat. Then after that, it's over to the crafting table for us. Once we picked up our first mana moat, then we're going to basically unlock all of these other spells and the brand new apparel, the drip as well. Another cool thing about the spells is for the most part, the recipes are like relatively doable in survival. Let's say I go ahead and craft a mind burst. Then once I craft that and use it, I'm going to have that spell forever. This one is actually insanely overpowered. You have the whole cooldown, but like <laughs> this is like crazy mining right there. Next up, we check out Crafted Companion by none other than Log.Zip. Inside of a world, familiarly, we get a brand new instruction book. Inside of Crafty's Companion, the Friendship Bracelet is going to be the big ticket. Oh, but this time it's not just a book. We've also got ourselves to spawn a Crafty. Hey, buddy, I'm here. <laughs> you ready to play some Minecraft with me? Alrighty then. So as soon as we spawn Crafty into the world, Crafty's gonna talk to us and then demand from us a donut. As soon as we walk up to Crafty and give him the Dude, friendship bracelet, we're gonna be the best Minecraft buddies. Now after that, if we go ahead and walk up to Crafty and interact with Crafty, we've got a ton of different options that we can do. We go ahead and say so dig cool. and I really dig you. <laughs> uh, he goes ahead and just digs. We got like smooth animations and everything like that, but when hey, we're buddy. done digging, we go ahead and cancel. It's a little bit of a bummer. They didn't like run around the world and dig for us. Instead, he just kind of like dances. I can't mine here, dude. Gotta find a better location. Uh, all right. Blood wants a better location. I'll give you one. All righty. And so down in the mines, just like that, I've got my okay, first fully willingly okay. employed employee getting to work. Cool, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so we can go ahead and set our boy Crafty off to work inside of the mines. We send Crafty down there, then I can like walk away and do whatever I want to do. Eventually, let's say I walk back over to Crafty and say, Hey, What's buddy, up? that's enough of that. I go ahead and cancel it. Oh, oh, you're a bodyguard too. That's not good. That's why you live. <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> okay, then. Anyways, inside of the menu, we go ahead and tap give. Here, and then this. Crafty will give us everything that he got, whether it's digging, chopping wood, or mining. If you want to preserve the vanilla grind of survival Minecraft, though, we've what got something else do? that I think could be really cool, and that's going to be the give me a quest option. If I go ahead and select that. Hey, dude, if you grab this stuff, I'll get some sweet stuff for you. No way. Just like that. How did he do it? A stack of rose bushes. That's insane. We walk back hey, up buddy. to crafty and go ahead and yes, quest reward. Oh, what I no. Go, <laughs> for some roses, bro. For some roses. What? 
All right, so I'm gonna be honest. Crafty's companion has far exceeded all of my expectations. Your very own companion that will completely and entirely willingly, by choice, do any work that you ask him to, okay, as soon as you ask him talking. to. <laughs> Not bad. World Utilities Add-on. So this is the really, really insane one. And it'll probably ruin your world. Oh, and also, I think you can pick up spawners. What? For that low price of $3, let's ruin survival forever. I mean, I guess, I don't know. It depends on how powerful this is. Nine diamonds total for this pickaxe? I will not lie, it is a little bit expensive, but still, only nine diamonds for this pickaxe. So multi-block pickaxe is exactly what it sounds like. We mine the middle block, <laughs> and then a bunch of mine. It, it literally works on any block in a game. It doesn't matter if it's like dirt or whatever. And also durability doesn't seem to be a problem at all. Like it's literally never consumed. This is, I mean, this is so different. Oh, each recipe is gonna be different. Uh -huh. Now there's a lot of insanely powerful tools that come with this add-on. However, maybe the most overpowered one of all, of course, other than being able to move the end frame and spawners, is this little thing called the Omni Tool. Pause and read. Now the Omni Tool is essentially your all-in-one goddess. You have a tree you want to chop down? Not a problem. You can chop down a tree and you chop it insanely fast, like almost instantly. How about dirt? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely instantly. That's perfect. Eventually you dig out all of the dirt inside of your world. You get the stone. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that out instantaneously too. So we do this digging thing for a little bit of time until eventually a magical vein appears. Then I have this item called the vein miner. Instead of actually using the vein miner to just say like mine out the vein, I'm gonna go ahead and use it and activate it. Then after that, with like basically any pickaxe in the game, if there's more ores attached to that vein, it'll mine it. You may be wondering about enchanting these tools. Can I improve them even more? Unfortunately, no, but hey, don't worry, don't worry, because this Omni tool, at least, it basically has built-in Fortune 3. This whole vein mining function is gonna work too, even if you place ores down. We've all heard of vein miner. Have you heard of tree capacitator? Just like with vein miner, we go ahead and activate this thing. Then any tree that I chop down, <laughs> And now the crazy part about these toggleable tools too is this is gonna work with any axe in the game. As long as I've grinded my way up to this item, gotten it in my world, and actually activated it, I can walk up to a tree with the most basic pickaxe in the game and go in to buy giant tree. Heck at that right, I can walk up to a tree with a wooden pickaxe, literally not for the tree, and it, it doesn't matter. Or of course, I could walk up to the tree with a plain old fist to chop the tree down and it still doesn't matter. A wild pickaxe that goes kind of hard is the explosive pickaxe. It's just like that whole like multi pickaxe thing, except this time it's basically dropping TNT when you mine. The TNT, the explosion, it will not hurt you. So picture this, you're you. After a long, hard day of wandering around inside of the forest and chopping everything down instantaneously, your inventory is clogged up with junk. No, but not for long. With the void chest item, I go ahead and place it down, interact with it, and then I can go ahead and dump things inside of this trash can. I go ahead and back out, walk away, and I come back, and it's gone. It's a deleter. Out of all of the things in this add-on, this is the one that I feel like I'm most likely to use in my world because it's not completely, entirely game-breaking. This idea as a vanilla Minecraft block, I mean, I don't hate it. And maybe, I mean, it would, like, look a little bit different in vanilla, but I actually kind of like that idea. It's cool. Is sick and tired in your world of having a spawner not where you want it? We'll grab the wrench, break the spawner. Now I'm trying to break a silverfish spawner, so I'll go ahead and tap that. And just like that, I picked up the spawner. Well, we're at it over here at the end. I would love to have this back over at my base so I can just go ahead and use the end frame pickaxe to break all of the end frame blocks and take them home. Hopefully I don't burn them in the lava. <laughs> Oh, and in case you didn't think this wrench situation wasn't crazy enough, check this. Let's say we went ahead and found a relatively common spawner inside of our world, but it is definitely a spawner. I interact with it with the wrench, and then let's say, oh, uh, I think this is a blaze spawner. Go ahead and tap blaze spawner, walk over and pick it up, and it, just like that, I've, I, I turned the, this cave spider spawner into a blaze spawner. Uh, that is broken. And so we've made it, the final one today. Before we dive into the mech suit add-on, if you like these add-on review videos and you'd like to see me keep doing them, then tap like, it'll let me know. Thank you. This one's got that price of $4. Survival mechs begins with a beginner's guide, and not gonna lie, it's so necessary for this one. It's kind of advanced. Six iron ingots, one leather, a furnace, and a redstone block. 
Heading over to our local crafting table in an open area. Inside of the crafting table, we can craft ourselves a mech. A mech, we place it down into the world, and this is going to be pretty big. Check that thing out. Now, walking up to this thing and checking it out, on the top, we get a little bit of information. Fuel zero, health four. If we go ahead and interact with it, we jump onto it. Hit E, and you open up your mech's inventory. Now, the mech is going to need fuel to actually work. Now, the next step is going to be picking a use for our mech and being able to control it. We'll need a module and a control panel. Now for our different modules, we've got Chop, which is going to help you mine trees. We've got Grow, which will help you speed up crop growth. We've got Jewel, which is kind of like a 3x3 mining tool. Then we've got a Mining, which is just standard old mining. And then we've got Speed. Considering the fact that I'm right next to a forest, I think the tree chopping it is for me. We add the control and we add the module right there. I can walk around and just move throughout wherever I want to go. Walk over to a tree, no big deal. Ayo, uh, eh, hold on. You gotta use the module on the mech and it'll transform it. Keeping this mech control in my inventory right here. If I interact with it, then we can go ahead and actually like start to chop down trees. This is so cool. Overpowered for sure. Like very, very valid. But I feel like compared to maybe some of the other items we've checked out today, how this is done is maybe a little bit closer to survival. Like <laughs> if you could say a giant robot, it's close to normal survival. To keep things balanced with this mech, when we go ahead and use this thing, we're going to get a lot of blocks, but the blocks aren't always guaranteed to fully drop. Like, you might lose some. Now, as we start to walk around and do things, unfortunately, our fuel is running out. The more that I walk around, the more that I start to chop down, the more fuel goes down. Now, we've also got different items that we could use to basically upgrade our mech. The mech deck craft kit. Go ahead and use that, and it basically resets it back to normal. The gold mech upgrade kit adds a little bit of gold trim and ups that health. And as you would expect, the diamond one does the same thing, except with diamond and maximum health. If your mech ever loses all of its health somehow, maybe bad combat situation, maybe you blew it up or something, you also have a repair kit that you could use on the mech. Now, of course, I am so curious. The TNT module, I would like to see what happens. We go ahead and equip that with TNT, jump onto this buddy with a control panel. Oh, no way, no way. Oh, it's true. Can I, will it happen? Oh, it'll happen. If you want any of these mech upgrades, by the way, you need to go out into your world and find the specific things that you will need to actually be able to craft them. If we go ahead and add a little bit of fuel to the mech and use this one. <laughs> oh, oh, you're quick, you're quick, you're so quick. I might be in love. I think I love the mech. So every item that we checked out today, which one's your favorite? Are you gonna pick it up? Let me know, call it down below. If you haven't yet, tap that like button and subscribe. Also, also, if you haven't seen part one, now is that perfect moment, this video is over. In part one, we checked out like 15 add-ons. It was pretty crazy. Anyways, this has been me, your handsome lad, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.